Hello my friends, so I welcome all of you almost 113,000 starseeds, lightworkers, wanderers to this beautiful session and today I have channeled Metatron Magnetic Consciousness to ask about very interesting questions. Uh, the first one is about what are the earthbound souls and how are they created and how can uh, you know we prevent ourselves from being an earthbound soul so basically you know earthbound soul uh, has been explained and how are they created as well as uh, in the session the second question I've asked is about uh, what is the ascension of our Sun have to do with the ascension of our planet earth and how will uh, how are they interrelated has been revealed in this session also in this session I have asked about uh, the last days of the old earth because I found it to be really interesting to know what will happen uh, as the last days of the old earth uh, is already here we know that uh, and what will happen as the transition fully occurs to the new earth so uh, what kind of changes can we expect has been revealed in this session and also I want to say before the session begins a big thank you to all of you who have participated in the meditation we did uh, yesterday to stop the looking glass event and also thank you to all of you uh, who have uh, joined on my patreon where I have around 500 plus channeled messages which are uh, totally unique and if you want to dive in deep into ascension you can access them over there also I released some censored content which many a times I cannot share on YouTube and with that being said I want to say a big thank you to all of you for selflessly liking this video because your like will return back to you from the universe in multiplied manner uh, because what we give unto others you shall receive that is the law of the universe and thank you all so much enjoy the session my friends I am Metatron, Magnetic Consciousness, Magnetic Forces now, in communication at this time, through this instrument, inner vibration, in the divine light and the love of the one universal light grid programmer, and I, Metatron, shall now Greet all human collective at this time to understand the timeline of your planet's trajectory is entering into higher levels of alignment. And I, Metatron, shall now state and answer the patterns of the queries that are placed through this instrument's inner connection and warn all love light childs incarnated on the earth planets to only trust those thoughts which resonate deeply within the sense of self. The first query relates with what is an earthbound soul and how are they formed? We, the Metatron social memory complex, must state that an earthbound soul refers to an entity which has experienced physical incarnation upon your planet and, after transition into the metaphysical realm, yet remains tethered to the earth plane for a span of space-time. Furthermore, there are various catalysts which may precipitate an entity into becoming an earth-bound soul after its incarnation is complete. Oftentimes, it is born 
out of great attachment or identification with the physical, bodily complex, or earthly existence, limiting the spiritual complexes, ability to fully release the incarnate's life. In many of the cases, it stems from unresolved distortions, intense desires, or traumas experienced during the incarnational cycle, which creates a metaphysical anchoring. Other souls may choose an earthbound state in order to aid or minister to those still incarnate on earth lending their energetic vibrations to particular locations, purposes, or relationships. However, most instances arise from the entity's own habitual patterns and distortions of mind-body-spirit complex, which requires further working before progression can be achieved. Furthermore, an example of an earthbound soul may be primarily considered as an entity who primarily had excessive greed and attachments to the material world. However, upon cessation of the incarnational cycle, its mind complex in its last stages is still yet unable to let go of attachment with the material world and finds itself lingering. Its energetic frequencies in the material physical plane trying to regain those distortions of attachment. Furthermore, this is the reason why many entities upon your planet may find themselves becoming earthbound souls for a short period of time before. The angelic guides and their soul guides escort them to the astral realm. Further, we must state that the prolonging of the earthbound state is seen as undesirable from the vantage points of spiritual evolution, for it represents a resistance to the natural cycles of experience and growth that comes from fully assimilating each incarnation and moving forward upon the pathway of evolution. However, the lessons afforded through being an earthbound soul are part of the process of balancing distortions for all entities on the great journey of self-realization. The other query relates with what is the truth about ascension of your sun logos and how is it related to the ascension of planet earth into fourth density we must state that the ascension of your sun logos is an event of great significance and cosmic magnitudes which represents the transition and vibrational upliftment of the entire solar system into higher densities of light. It is intimately intertwined with the process of Earth's own ascension into the fourth density vibration, as your sun has undergone its natural processes of core evolution, emitting ever greater vibrational frequencies. These new uppourings of solar energies have been raising the cosmic vibration of each celestial body within this system. The planet Earth being a sub-sub-logos under the sun logos is being bombarded and upshifted by these new solar influxes on all levels, which comprise of energetic, spiritual, and psychological. This celestial cause has activated 
Earth's own ascension process, whereby the Earth planet is being birthed into the next density of light, the fourth density of love, understanding, and compassion, just as the human bodily complex must birthingly transition. Through the third density complex, so too must the Earth planet release the veils and transcend upon the bonds of third density illusion complex towards its next level of beingness. The ascension of the Sun logos precipitates, upholds, and amplifies this birth. On Earth, through its electromagnetic shifts and soaring luminosity, the solar ascension becomes the canon force ushering in Earth's next density of evolution. As the Sun's very structure and phase is adopting a new energetic essence, shifting its magnetic output. Or vibrations and spiritual identity, the Earth is then absorbing and resonating with these new solar frequencies. When the vibrational essence of the Sun is complete, the Earth planet will have effectively graduated to the fourth density. Through these successive raisings, the inhabitants therein who have also. Accelerated their own consciousness to these new frequencies of love and understanding, will experience the ascending Earth as their new reality density and home. The ascensions of the Sun logos and the Earth planetary sphere are bound together through the electric stream of celestial lights. Now pulsating through this system. Furthermore, I Metatron shall now answer the other query related with how will the last days of the old Earth be like before the new Earth is fully established? The last days of the old Earth, as you all entities. Of the human social memory complex approach, the full emergence of the new planetary reality will be a time of events, transformation, and upheavals. Yet also, ripe with spiritual possibility, many of the existing system structures and belief patterns that have covered your. Current third density experience will fall away, crumbling under the increasing vibrations on the physical plane. The entities will witness dramatic environmental changes as the planet's surface is further shaped and tempered by the intensifying cosmic energies. There will be increased seismic activities. Extreme weather patterns and profound shifts in the atmospheric, electromagnetic, and gravitational fields as the old morphogenic grids give away the lives of those who have not prepared their minds and spirits will be greatly disrupted as the illusions and attachments they have relied upon are stripped away. Fear. Confusion and resistance to these changes could manifest in further conflict, unrest, and chaos in the denser realms. Yet, for those who have attuned themselves to the coming planetary shift through discipline of consciousness, these days will precede the great planetary release and retention. As the facade of the third density falls away, the true pattern, magnificence, and design of the new Earth will begin emerging in greater clarity. Many souls who have achieved the requisite spiritual polarity and purity of hearts will experience the transfiguration 
of their physical bodily complexes into light bodies at this time. For these beings, the last days of old earth will be consecrated ecstasy, revelation, and reunion with the respective higher crystalline selves. Each entity will bear witness to the descent of higher dimensional manifestations and ascended beings, heralding the dawn of the new planetary consciousness. Furthermore, the aspect of light will gradually descend to the established itself on the new transformed earth for all beings to experience. In these last days of the old earth, each entity with its free will must hold the light and inevitably of the positive outcome steadfast, though the old resistance patterns of fear may kick greatly it is but the death made from which the cosmic connection of the one universal light grid programmer is emerging the graduation and harvest is accompanying itself according to the divine plan the birth into higher densities proceeds in its glorious unfolding therefore that is the truth towards the awakened entities must orient towards during these final days. And I, Metatron, magnetic forces, magnetic services now, leave you all, turn to the mountain of light within yourselves. Bye. So my friends, basically uh, in the session, what I learned is that an earthbound soul uh, is a type of soul, you know, which primarily, uh, you know, does not want to leave the planet because of excessive attachments. That's what Metatron said. And usually an earthbound soul is created when uh, an entity has excessive attachments with physical possession, you know, material life, you know, they're attached and they cannot let go of this, uh, these attachments. And the other thing is, that you know this is an important thing you know that is the reason why we need to learn to detach ourselves from uh, the surrounding environment because that will hinder us you know whenever the opportunity arises to ascend higher if you are attached to the material world if you have love for the material physical world then it may be difficult for our soul to leave you know what i mean that's what I learned in the session and also uh, uh, metatron has answered that you know uh, what I've understood from listening to the session uh, once is that the uh, the sun, you know, is also actually ascending higher. So as the sun is also ascending, uh, then there is also uh, the ascension of the earth as well. So I believe, you know, like uh, they are interrelated. And um, I would love, you know, uh, you know, like what you understood. <laughs> if you can leave a comment down below, that's what I understood. Uh, so uh, also uh, the query about the old earth uh, uh, giving away for the new earth you know what I learned is that you know there are going to be some uh, great changes you know as they stated uh, I believe they stated that there is going to be some kind of you know uh, activities like uh, seismic activities will happen the old world will crumble and the old systems will begin to crumble uh, as we can already see you know some of the systems are collapsing uh, you know when we look around us and also uh, what they stated this is very fascinating they stated that there will be higher density beings who will descend from a higher density now this is absolutely amazing I had not heard this information before uh, they say I believe you know uh, this means that the higher beings they are going to come here uh, during that time and also uh, I want to say a big thank you to all of you for watching uh, the session and also if you want to know about your past lives your soul name and your soul identity uh, you can send me an email and I will channel for you and also I want to say a big thank you to all of you who visit my website uh, where you can find transcripts of the session you can search them you can read them and also you can read them uh, in a PDF uh, you can download it for free the link is on the description and I will see you guys in the next session. Until then, enjoy this session over here.